You may have had this question for a very long time now since both these dogs look very similar. Even if you hadn't dared to pose the question, we're here with the answer anyway. Before we delve into it, know that regardless of their differences, they both make happy and amazing pets. However, just so if you are curious, let us tell you Greyhounds and Whippets do not only share the same breed, they are also from the same family. Whippets are direct successors of the ancient Greyhound. Both these elegant dogs are naturally born racers. Well, we would say that they have a dire need for speed. These were just some of the similarities. But as you scroll, you will discover some fascinating differences between these two unique breeds. History of the Greyhound and Whippet Dogs having a rich history is something you won't wish to search every day. In fact, almost all dogs have an interesting historical background if you cared enough to look. Surprisingly enough, the breeds are the first ones to appear in the history books of North Africa and the Middle East and to be depicted in the ancient art of Egypt. On top of that, they are the only breed of dogs who have been mentioned in the Bible as well. Now that's some severe fame we have here for them to claim. Paving their way across Central Europe, Greyhounds got introduced to the United Kingdom in the 5th AD as sight sounds. They quickly became very popular for their incredible racing and revolutionary hunting skills. After a brief period, they were brought to America by the British and Spanish colonists, who were known to use the Greyhounds to chase their coyotes and jackrabbits. Soon enough in 1886, they were used as racing dogs. The sport had quickly become controversial because issues had been raised regarding the welfare of the dogs. However, this then led to their welfare charity, and thus there had been a growth in the adoption of this breed. Speaking of whippets, there is a good reason as to why they resemble greyhounds so much. As we mentioned that they are the successors of the greyhounds and later in the 1700s, they were bred with the fast, long-legged terriers. That's when they inherited much of the greyhounds as well as the terriers. So, you see, the whippet is a younger breed and only about a few hundred years old. Unlike the greyhounds, the whippets gained their popularity in northern England by hunting small animals like rabbits for the colonists. Interestingly enough, they have then nicknamed the poor man's racehorse. To begin with the differences, both of them are extremely fast. The greyhound is the fastest of all and can reach a speed of 40, 45 miles per hour whereas the whippets are a little bit slower. By comparison, the whippets reaching speed is 35 miles per hour. Not bad, eh? But do take note that greyhounds might be the fastest breed in the world. Whippets are not far behind. Whippets are in fact, the fastest accelerating dog on earth. Now, you might assume that both greyhounds and whippets have high levels of energy just because of their high speed annex, but in reality, this is not at all the case. Know that they are great sprinters, not actually long-distance runners. They would be happy to cuddle up with you on your sofa on Sunday evening just as much as you would enjoy it. For those apartment dwellers, the good news for you is, both greyhounds and whippets make amazing apartment pet dogs and are quite couch potatoes. They are definitely full of energy and would love to play around with you, but their energy levels persist for a concise time. Be careful about when you take your pet greyhound and whippets out for walks. Their strong instincts to chase and hunt smaller. Furry animals put them into the mood for shooting at any time of the day. It's best to avoid places where they have chances to sniff out for rabbits. Also, do try to keep them in a fenced area for they might run out to chase animals whom they see as their prey. And you might not even be able to catch up with them once they start running. Again, remember that if they find small animals, they will chase out to catch them. So, if you have a cat or a rabbit, Perhaps it's better not to add them to your family. Whippets are literally the mini version of greyhounds. They are in fact a smaller version of the greyhound. Both of them have long, narrow heads that become wider towards their ears. Their muzzles are seen to be extended with large, rounded, or oval-shaped eyes that shine like a diamond. You will notice that the greyhound's ear is likely to stay folded unless they get very excited and stand on an end. Whereas, the whippets have rose-colored ears that are smaller compared to the greyhound's ears. The whippets' ears are more delicate in texture, and they are likely to fold up their ear when they become more lively and cheerful. Nonetheless, both of them have long, thin and narrow tails. They are slightly curved in an upwards direction. Greyhounds are incredibly lean and sleek in shape. Never will you ever see a fat greyhound. Their aerodynamic build along with their narrow head, muscular rear ends, and long legs make them look like a stunner. There are mainly two types of greyhounds, show greyhounds and racing greyhounds. While the racing greyhounds are about 64 km, 76 km tall, the show greyhounds are approximately 66, 76 km in height. The male greyhounds carry a weight of no more than 29, 39 kilograms, whereas the females weigh only 23, 29 kilograms. As you already know, whippets are many versions of the greyhounds, so they are quite small. Although they might be smaller than a greyhound, they are actually bigger than an Italian greyhound. Male whippets are about 48 km. 56 can tall with weighing at an average of 34 pounds. Female whippets, on the other hand, are 45 a 
53 can tall and about 28 pounds in weight. Whippets are also of different colors like white, black, fawn, red, and cream. However, whippets come in a combination of blazes, spots, or patches which are of different colors. Simply put, Italian greyhounds are the cuter versions of the greyhounds. All greyhounds are cute. But by this what we mean to imply is that the Italian greyhounds belong to more of the toy dog group. They are slender, smaller, and lighter than an average greyhound. They are only about 33 cm, 38 cm tall, weighing only about 3, 8 kg. Their small size is an excellent match for those who badly want a dog but worried about their living space is small. Italian greyhounds are graceful and share the same peaceful, lovable and amiable temperament as their greyhound brothers and sisters. Now tease your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.